Hey, my name is Cameron and I'm going to do a quick little video tutorial for you uh, that's going to go ahead and turn this regular line image into a more creative, more original artwork that I made. Um, let me go ahead and show you uh, the finished result that I actually came out with. It uh, looks a little bit like this. If you press F on your keyboard when you're in Photoshop, you will be able to switch your uh, screen modes uh, or display modes so you can uh, go ahead and uh, get rid of all the extra stuff on your screen so you can kind of look at just that image Let's zoom out just a little bit there you go so that's that's what I'm looking to make all right so get out uh, whoops get back there we go and uh, let's go back in Illustrator and I'll let me just show you exactly how I started off uh, now I used mostly Illustrator throughout this whole process which is a little bit of Photoshop at the end all right, so let me just show you how I started. Uh, first, I did a little outline. Um, let's see here. All right, so I drew an outline. We using the pencil tool. You can kind of just. And you'd be surprised. It's I made it very crude. No artistic skill required for this at all. And that's basically what I ended up making. Uh, now, if you do want to make adjustments, double click, edit selected paths. That way you can fix any mistakes that you've made. Maybe this is too wide. Maybe this is too sharp. All right, and that's what I ended up making for the path here. Uh, you kind of want to get a little accurately, but you don't have to overdo it, especially in this case in which the, the shape is relatively simple. Someone will recognize this even through just a silhouette. Now, this is what I just created right now, but this is what I end up using and not much difference, but I just wanted to make sure you see what I actually ended up using. Um, then I went to the next step was to go ahead and add in little brush strokes for the uh, for the hairs. Now I wouldn't use the brush tool. This little artistic small brush, nothing really special. I used I think I used a 0.5 size brush. Not positive. Uh, let me get a, a bright red just so it pops out. And uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So. Now, when I originally made this, I did have a graphics tablet, but you definitely don't need one. It might make things a little bit faster, but I went ahead and I looked at the, uh, I still have edits like the paths on. I'm going to turn that off so that I can put these brush strokes really close to each other, but still have a little bit of space. And I went ahead and I just followed the, uh, the flow of the hair, you know? So these hairs, these hairs look shorter. So I'm making them basically shorter. You know, in here, maybe I just make a few dots or something. Just random clicks, you know. So that's how I, that's how I did that now. That's what I just did right now. But let me show you what I ended up using. Took me a little bit more time, but we're not going to go through all that um, over this video. So, so I can keep the time constraint. It ended up looking a little bit like that. As you can see, it's crude. It's it's not anything special. Um, the one thing I can say, try not to hook it too much. Uh, you can see some of these have a uh, have little hooks. That that actually doesn't look too good in the future. So you want to avoid those those hooks. I mean, those were okay because they're relatively small, but just make sure that you use little dash marks and not hooks. Um, then the next step I went ahead and took is I, I made silhouettes uh, for the eyes and the nose just to kind of bring it to life. Uh, let me oh, put that image up. So that's the nose. The eyes are just regular shapes, nothing special. Uh, only thing here is that there is, um, there is, you know, I use the draw inside mode for the eye here. And the way that works is I just go ahead, you, you draw a shape. This is crude as can be. Um, let me put, give it a fill. 
then you switch your mode, which is at the bottom of your tools list, there's a mode here for a uh, draw inside. Um, uh, apparently shift D, I never use that though. Um, and then I go ahead and use my ellipsis tool. I usually call it the circle tool, but since I'm doing this video, I'll give it the proper name um, and uh, make a circle. Since I'm in the draw inside mode, it only will draw inside of what I have selected here or this little hashtag, um, hash not not hashtag these hash marks here dash marks or dash marks i suppose they are here let me change the color so you can see what what just got drawn so that's that like so that's how i got those eyes nothing complicated this is really simple stuff anyone could follow this um moving on um uh, same thing here only thing may be different is I started adding a little bit of white in. Uh, I, I made some adjustment to the eyes. The eyes are just a gradient, uh, a radial gradient with these little patterns here. I just do that together. Uh, that's something I had done before that I thought, hey, that's a good way to make eyes. Uh, once again, the draw in sight mode is very, imp very uh, important here because I basically I copy the eye over. And I, you know, the circles are inside there for the pupils, and uh, I can select these either together or independently, and I could maybe use uh, I could use the arrows to go ahead and move the eyes. So he can, if I felt like his eyes are too low, or if I felt like his eyes were too high up, I could change that, you know, and uh, without much work or effort. Uh, so I think I moved a little bit further. Uh, I think most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Same thing with the hairs. If there were long hairs, I put them on top. Uh, I separated them um, by their uh, layers. So that's one thing to do. Keep in note, I did separate them via the layers. One of those layers is just uh, here. So we've got one layer for these whiskers here the layer for the the white hairs and the layer for the black hairs and I actually kind of plop the eyes and those on there too all right so most of this should be self-explanatory not too complicated all right and this this is where I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off and we'll finish it in the next video uh, kind of showing you the next steps and where I took it to go ahead and get the final result which again looks somewhat like that all right so I'll say I'll check you next time. Check out the second part. Peace.